Okay, so on a problem like this, there is actually a shortcut we could go through, and I could say that the answer is just going to be two fifths. Um, because when we have the same term in the numerator and the same term in the denominator being divided by the same value, we know that's going to undo itself. So I, I know the answer right now is 2 fifths, but let me show you how I know that's going to be 2 fifths. So let's just kind of go back to what we've been dealing with before. When we have a fraction in the denominator or a fraction in the numerator, um, a couple things we just want to multiply by your reciprocal, right? So we could always multiply by the reciprocal of this would be x plus y over 5 times x plus y over 5. Well, we know that any, any fraction multiplied by a reciprocal, we know that multiplies out to 1. Here, since we only have multiplication, we're going across multiplication, we know that x plus y will divide out with x plus y, so we're just left with 2 fifths. Another way we could do this is you don't even need to multiply by the reciprocal. If I just multiply by x plus, x plus y on both sides, we still know, if I just multiply by x plus y over 1, because that's the LCD of our numerator and of our denominator, we're still going to have that's going to divide out to 1. And that will still divide out to 1, leaving us with 2 fifths. So there's a couple ways that you can go through it. And, and again, what we've now had, we still have a fraction, but it's not going to be a complex fraction. So therefore, that's going to be our final answer, 2 fifths. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.